That's terrible right there. But it works. Little stand right there. <clears throat> so, uh, plug it in via USB. Turn it on. Now, basically, all it is is this LCD. Uh, this is driving that LCD, and all this this is is just um, to read the serial output of whatever I'm programming, you know. And this is to prototype for that. And these are all the ports broken out. Um, two buttons and two LEDs for prototyping. A potentiometer. This one controls the contrast of that one. Um, and once it, this one gets plugged in, oops, once this one gets plugged in, actually you have to connect their RX TX lines. And as you can see, it's just reading two characters that this one is outputting back and forth. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. A B A B. So let's uh, write some code here. Copy. Da -da 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 -da. A B. C. D. Uh, let's make this a lot quicker. <clears throat> Oops. I hope you guys can see that. Upload using programmer. And it's uploading. While it's uploading, it, it does some weird stuff there, but whatever. See, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D really fast. And there you have it, basically. That's all it's for, it's just uh, that LCD to serve as the serial output of whatever's being programmed there. And uh, I did some things here. Um, I bought a can of um, uh, what's it called, Plasti Dip, and I Plasti Dip the back of the PCB. I used the photo resist method just because it's what I've always done. And then I didn't want just a plain old PCB here, so I actually printed out my my uh the the layout and I just kinda glued it on top and put all the parts through the paper. And I don't know, it looks nice I guess. I like it, I don't mind. So yep. Oh yeah, and I mean I made a ton of mistakes and that's why I have jumpers everywhere and this going to that. It's, and I, honestly, these, you know, the pre synthesized boards are expensive. And I, I went to, I went through uh, three of them before I, I got one that was good. The first one I did the, the, the drill holes. I, I, I drew them too small, so I didn't have a bit tiny enough. And once I did get that bit. And the actual parts didn't fit. So then I made another one with bigger holes. <clears throat> and when I did that one, I used too much developer and it ruined the <laughs> board. And then this was my third one, which came out fine. And then I realized I had some design flaws, which I said, screw it. I'll just, you know, fix it the, the hard way. But uh, eventually I, I'll get it a perfect board and it'll look a lot cleaner on the outside. Eventually, I would like to get a Raspberry Pi, you know, extend this board, make it bigger, get a Raspberry Pi, like in a little, you know, some kind of little monitor, and just be able to program the Arduino through the Raspberry Pi without using a computer at all, you know, aside from the, aside from the Raspberry Pi, which is, you know, a computer itself, but that, that would be the goal, yep.